In this part, we will solve two problems appeared in GATE 1988 paper. In the first problem, we have to find the output F, the output F for the given circuit. And in this circuit, we have three XOR gates, one, two, three, three XOR gates. And all the three XOR gates have two inputs. So we are dealing with two input XOR gate. And in case of two input XOR gate, the output Y is equal to A and B complement or A complement and B. This is what we have in case of two input XOR gate and we can also represent it like this where the symbol is the symbol of XOR operation and if we have two same inputs for similar inputs the output Y is equal to A XOR A let's say the two inputs are A and if I expand this it will give me A and A complement or A complement and A A and A complement is equal to 0 so the output Y is equal to 0 when we have two similar inputs now we will try to find out the output F of this circuit and we will first find out the output of this first XOR gate and let's say it is F1, F1 is the output of the first XOR gate. The first input is X and the second input is also equal to X. You can see the connection here and as we have two similar inputs, the output is equal to zero. Now we will try to find out the output of second XOR gate and let's say it is equal to F2 and in this first input is equal to zero and the second input is equal to X. You can see the connection, it is equal to X and we have 0 and x complement or 0 complement and x this will give us 0 or 1 and x 0 and x complement is equal to 0 0 complement is 1 and we have 1 and x if you solve it further you will find the output is equal to x now we will find out the final output that is f the first input is x from here you can see the first input is x because output of the second XOR gate is acting as the input to the third XOR gate third and last XOR gate the second input is also equal to x you can see the connection it is also equal to x and now we have two similar inputs for the last gate so the output is equal to 0 so 0 is the answer this is very simple problem you can easily solve it it is simply based on the properties of XOR gate and option B is the correct option. Now we will move to problem number 2. In second problem, we have to find the minimum number of two input NAND gates, minimum number of two input NAND gates required to implement the function. This is the function and we have to find out the minimum number of two input NAND gates that we can use to implement this function. I will not solve this problem. I will give you hint how to solve it. First thing you have to do is to open these brackets. Before that I will write down X complement or Y complement like this. X and Y whole complement and uh, when you apply De Morgan's law you will find X complement or Y complement and Z or W. I will simplify this further. This will give me X and Y whole complement and Z or X and Y whole complement and W. I have used distributive law here. So this is the hint. This is the hint to solve this problem. The only thing you have to do now is to implement this function by using the two input NAND gates and you will have the minimum number of NAND gates. And once you have your answer, post it in comment section. So the second problem is the homework problem for you. And this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.